Hi there and welcome to the last video in this Squarespace blogging tutorial series. You've seen how you can create the blog pages, the blog posts, how you can design a page and various other things. So in this video, let's talk about SEO settings. In this video, let's talk about Squarespace SEO settings. So SEO settings for the homepage will inherit from the general settings of your entire website. That's why if you click here under SEO, you're going to see that you can edit your SEO settings under settings. So if you go to your settings, you can click here to go to your settings, but I'm just going to go from this other page and you can find your SEO settings under marketing. So if you come here under marketing, you're going to see your SEO settings and you can just change all the settings here. The title format, this is going to take there. This is going to take what does S stand for? S stand for title of your site. This is going to take the title of your site. You can add something like this, title of the page and title of the site so that it can take this by default. So it's going to take the title of your site and the title of your page every time. So this will be default for the home page. For other pages, if you add SEO titles, you're going to see that's the one that's going to get shown. And I'm going to show you how you can add that on every single page that you edit. And then you can also enter a description here and make sure your description is something that you can try to convince someone to click on your post. So since mine says Ricky's marketing blog, so you can say something like click here to learn marketing tips. If you want to learn about content marketing, blogging, and digital marketing, just go ahead and click click here to learn all this stuff. Click here to learn how to do all these things. Something like that could encourage someone to click on the link. And once you change all the settings there, make sure you click on save. And don't go beyond the 400 that has been set up for you here. So let's go back into pages. And if you come back here, you can change the SEO settings for every specific page. So like for instance, the about page, once you create a page, you can change the SEO settings for that specific page and you can add the title, something that is click friendly. Somebody sees that among other titles, they should want to click on yours, something that's convincing. And then the same for description, add a description. Once you add the description as well, you can click on save. And if you don't want this page to be indexed on search engines, just click there and it will not be indexed. So I'll click there to save. Make sure you write something that is SEO friendly. And then let's go to the blog. And then as for the blog, if you click on the blog settings, you can also change the SEO for that specific blog. So here maybe you can say something like, learn more about marketing from my blog. You give the title of your blog there. Everything that you write will come with your website title so let's say you want this learn more about marketing and you can see anything that you add here will automatically come in with your site title and then you can add a description as well and then you can choose to hide all pages in this collection so all your blog posts will be hidden all categories in this collection if you don't want categories to show up then you can click that but just leave this on if you want to improve your SEO. And then once you do that, you, ju you just click on save. And then as for the blog posts, let's do the last one for the blog post. So I'll click on blog. And then for specific blog posts, just click on edit. And once you click on edit, come up here, click on settings. And then click on SEO. And you can change the SEO titles for all your website. So for this one, let's say something like tips for lazy marketers. And of course, you may need to reduce the length of your title if it's too long. Like you can see, mine is pretty long. So tips for lazy marketers. And then you add a description. And once you add a description, you can click there to apply. Then once you do that, just click on save and that's going to change the SEO title and the description for your post. And within your post, make sure you use headings to separate your content. Make sure you separate your content with headings to make it easier to read. Add images so that it's much easier to read. And when you're done, just click on done. 
you can preview your website with all the changes that you've made so let me go into blog not about and then here under blog let's look at the one that we created if i bring my cursor here you'll see that the title for my post has now been changed to what i changed it to so that's it for this full tutorial you've seen how you can create pages you can create blog posts and now finally in this video you've seen how you can change the seo settings for your title descriptions for each of your page or post so that's it for this video and even if you still want to create a different type of a different type of post maybe this is a blog post that you only post videos too you can still create another one where you'll be posting only videos another one where you'll be posting only audio maybe it, you can use that as a webcast some kind of a webcast it's entirely up to you what you want to do with your website you can create multiple blogs on the same website with different posts that you want to share with your audience in the end you've been able to to create your own blog and if you watch this tutorial you'll definitely have all the skills you'll need to build your website you'll have all the skills you'll need to build your blog or any kind of website on squarespace so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to let me know and i will see you next time in another tutorial